Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson, and you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. And yo, man, for the latest and greatest, man, there's just, you know, something I want to talk about, and it's how fast food lost its value. Okay, and what gives me, you know, the <clears throat> back end to talk about this is, man, you know, I've been in the streets for a long time and, you know, for a long period of time, I've always been outside. You know what I'm saying? I've been outside somewhere, you know what I mean? And so, you know, living this type of life, being in survival mode, you know what I'm saying? Experiencing homelessness and things like that, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you tend to eat out a lot. You know what I'm saying? You tend to, you know, migrate to, you know, fast food restaurants and, you know, Burger Kings and McDonald's and things like that. Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, today, man, you know, I just want to talk about how fast food outlets have lost their value. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it was a recent visit to McDonald's, okay, that inspired this podcast. And, uh, you know, me personally, I was, you know, picking up food for somebody. I wasn't even ordering McDonald's because I don't eat McDonald's, okay, Uh, if I could help it. But anyway. First off, I just want to talk about something that don't nobody want to talk about. And I'm just I'm going to be nice about it, but I'm just going to bring it up, okay? There's a war on homeless people out here. It's a war on homeless people, okay? You can go to any neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, any city civic center, you know, practically, and you know, all, you know, all the fast food joints around, you know what I'm saying, have, you know, uh uh locked restrooms. Okay, so you you got to go holler. Okay, you got to go buy something. Okay, before you use the restroom. And let's be real, it's because you know homeless people, man. They you know they go in these places because they don't got nowhere to go, and they hit the restroom and they end up fucking it up. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I just I seen that shit firsthand, man. You know what I'm saying? So I already know what it is. And um, you know, listen, I'm not making excuses for people. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is nasty. You know what I mean? But you know, I still understand. You know what I'm saying? What it is. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's like that. And, and then, you know, I go to fast food restaurants and and, and uh, fast food outlets and, and all the charging outlets are blocked. What's up with that? Okay? I don't appreciate that. Just as a, a consumer. You know what I mean? Just as, uh, as a, <clears throat> you know, resident of a community. Okay? My community. My local community. Walking into my fast food, my local fast food joint. And there's nowhere to even plug my phone while I was sitting to eat. You know what I'm saying? Can't even pop open my laptop and work a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just grinding over the years, man, it's, it's been like that. You know what I'm saying? It's been like that in the hood, man. You know what I mean? Where they slowly start, you know, blocking off the outlets because they don't want people, you know, chilling for too long. You know what I'm saying? Because people will chill for too long. You know what I mean? And I get it. You know what I mean? But the reason why I want to talk about it is because, listen, man... Uh, you know, it's just not fun going to fast food outlets anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, it used to be fun to go to McDonald's, even if you weren't a kid that was able to go in the in the in the playpen and all that shit, right? <clears throat> and uh, I just feel like, damn, you know, everything is overpriced. Okay, you get one meal, it's like eleven dollars. Like, come on, man, for a little mini meal. You know what I mean? And, and it's just unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, sometimes, you know. You know, when you, the workforce wanted to talk about, you know what I'm saying, their jobs being threatened and being taken over by technology and things like that. Listen, man, I go to these fast food outlets, man, and I get this. It's entry level, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you know, the human employee effect is, is kind of, you know, it's kind of off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, they'd be so quick to want to just take your money. You know what I'm saying? Get you out the way and not care about your experience in the restaurant, whether, you know what I'm saying, you got a place where you can, you know, sit, charge stuff, you know what I'm saying, go to the restroom, hassle-free, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you can blame homeless people for doing this and being like that, but from where I'm standing, you know, employees at fast food restaurants just don't want to work hard. It's just that simple, you know what I mean? The attitude is you just don't pay me enough to work that hard, okay? And, uh... Yo, man, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what happens when, you know, you're in a capitalistic society and, you know, they put profits over people. You know what I'm saying? And you know what it is. That's what it is. Okay, out here. And um, I just feel like, you know, fast food outlets in America, man, they're just not genuinely serving the community anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's not a place that I feel welcome coming to. You know what I'm saying? 
And, uh, you know, that kind of sucks. You know what I'm saying? It really sucks, man. Um, and, you know, aside from all the, you know, GMO discussion and all that, you know what I'm saying? There's that. You know what I mean? But uh, I just feel like these restaurants lost their sense of care. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really just, you know, don't care about, you know, these places. Especially, it's like, you go to the store and what options do you have, man? You got Coke and Pepsi. And all they buy products. Okay? Coke, Pepsi, and Dr. Pepper, all they buy products. And, you know, to be honest, I'm tired of going to 7-Eleven just getting them same old options. Like, man, what is, what is different? You know what I mean? So I try to try things that are different, you know? But, um, you know, this is how fast food has lost its value. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even, you know, I mean, some places still hold it down. You know what I'm saying? I still like to hit up Red Robin. You know what I'm saying? Every time I go there, particularly the the one that I go to when I go to it, uh, you know, the customer service is great. The atmosphere is great. You know what I'm saying? Great menu items. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I appreciate that. You know what I mean? So Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Carl's Jr., Taco Bell, Del Taco, all you American fast food joints, man, step it up, okay? And uh, just show a little more care for your customers, no matter, you know what I'm saying, who they are, what they might be going through. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, that's how you can make a difference in your community, man. Because I, I, I personally don't appreciate, excuse me, you know, businesses in my community that don't, you know what I mean, show that you know what I'm saying, type of love to the people, you know what I'm saying, and uh, yeah, man, that's what it is, it's your boy, Mr. Wilson, thank y'all for tuning in, and until next time, I'm out.